was it hard to follow up feel it in for you? Or was it really because you were in a flow or um, I didn't find it difficult, no. Mm. I started to write well and truly before we, we got close to recording the album, so I had a lot of songs um, there ready to go and I started to do a lot of pre-production with my band to get them to the level where they knew the songs really well so that when we were ready to step in the studio, they could do it, bang, get them done just really quickly and you know, they've, they've got the energy and they've got the right feel about them that they needed. And you know, so I felt quite confident with um, doing all the songs. I was working with uh, Eric Sarafin, who was, um, has worked with Ben Harper before and Michael Frente, and you know, so he's had the experience in the studio that I, I really wanted to have, and I wanted to work with him. And he got these beautiful, rich sounds, and so the album sounds really nice and rootsy and warm, and, and that's what I wanted. So I felt quite confident when I came yeah. out of there that I was happy with it. You know, where Feeler, I was, um, I had doubts and I was a bit unhappy about a few things on Feeler. Now I can relax. But see the sun, I just felt like, you know, I pleased myself this time and I'm happy with it. And that's the one person that I, I need to please is myself. Uh, I think the minute that you start to write songs for your fans and to try and keep them happy is a mistake because they, they want to follow what I'm doing and what I'm putting out there and what I like and that's, I think that's the that's the best thing that you can do, and you, if you keep following what you want to do, and you and and you know write the music that you enjoy, hopefully other people will, will like that, and that's. But is it hard to 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 close the outside world for you? I mean, when you when you write a song, when you when you wrote songs for Feeler, you well, it was for yourself, and yeah. and when you write songs now, you know people will hear it and may may relate to it. There is that element of of thinking like that and, and thinking that people well will they will they how will they take yeah. this one you know there's a there's a song on see the sun which is quite rocky and I haven't done a really rocky song like that before but I decided to put it on there because I liked it and I was happy with it and I felt that it that album needed that song on there and uh, you know so when you do something like that it's a little bit it's a little bit different to what you've done before you know you can be a little bit nervous of the reaction that you might get but you know that's all the experience of of um, you know doing doing original music and you don't know what's going to happen you don't know who's going to like what you just have to do what you think's best okay well thank you no problem no thank you.